Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm an educator at the St. Louis Zoo, and today we're going to talk about animal life cycles. So animals can grow up in different ways and might go through different changes as they do that. We're going to find out how some animals have their life cycle. The first life cycle we're going to talk about is a simple life cycle. It's simple because there's only two stages, birth and adult. So when I look at this animal, I can tell it is a zebra. It's not going to go through any huge changes. It's not going to grow wings. It's just going to get bigger and become an adult zebra. Another example of this would be a puppy. When you look at a puppy, you know it's going to grow up to be a dog. Okay, the next animal life cycle example is called incomplete life cycle. Now, I happen to have an animal here. So this is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Now an incomplete life cycle has three stages. So the first stage, they come out of an egg. So they're gonna hatch out of an egg. And then as they change, the second life stage is called a nymph. More changes have to happen. And then the last final stage, they're gonna be an adult. So we have egg, nymph, and adult. And those are our three stages of an incomplete life cycle. The last one, the complete life cycle, is a metamorphosis. That's a really big word. Can you say metamorphosis? Good job. So the first stage is eggs. So I have these frog eggs and they look kind of like eyeballs, don't they? A little bit. Um, and as we change and go through some changes to get to our second stage of this life cycle, then we have a tadpole and our tadpole is gonna have to go through changes because it doesn't look like a frog yet so this is our second stage gonna go through more changes to get to the third stage and here is our little froglet so we can see it's starting to look like a frog but it still has a long tail like a tadpole so it's gonna ha go have to go through more changes so more changes to become the fourth stage an adult frog okay now I'm going to show you an activity that we do when we teach life cycles at the St. Louis Zoo. So I have this activity map and for this one we can see there are two boxes here. So that means this one is the simple life cycle because it only has two stages. So for example, I have a baby rhino which is going to grow up to be an adult rhino. So that'd be another example of a simple life cycle. Next, we have the incomplete life cycle. So we know it's gonna have three steps, right? So we have our egg, our nymph, and our adult. Those are our three stages. So if I look here, let's see, this is an egg case. So this is what they're gonna hatch out of. So this is the egg case. They're gonna hatch out of an egg and then become a nymph. Now, a nymph starts to kind of look like the animal, but it's still gonna go through some more changes. And for this animal, the praying mantis, it's actually going to grow wings. And then it's an adult praying mantis. So we have our egg, our nymph, and our adult. So that means the last one has four stages. This is the metamorphosis, the complete life cycle. So for this one, we're gonna see if we can remember what comes first. Do you remember the first stage of this life cycle? It's eggs. And our second life stage is the larval stage. So here's a larva right here. Here's our larva. And it's gonna go through more changes to become the pupa stage, which is this one right here. And then more changes. We think metamorphosis, we can think of change. So this is our adult ladybug. So now when you see a little bitty ladybug, you'll know that it has gone through a complete metamorphosis. How cool is that? Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed learning about animal life cycles. Take care.